Let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your mercy, we thank you for your love. We thank you for this great morning again that you have been given to us. And we believe that you have a purpose to give us another day. And we hope that we will go through your word and your ways. We're going to obey all things that you ask us to do. We thank you, Father Lord, for everything that you'll be doing to us. And then we call you by this time to lead us through this lesson. Oh, Father, talk to your people, talk to their soul, speak to their spirit. Therefore, they can turn and change, and all of them to worship you in the way that you deserve. Thank you, Father Lord, for everything. We pray in, Je in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, praise the name of God, everyone. Uh, we greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope that you're doing great. It is a good time again. I am recording this title in English because I got something that I, I need to fix. I got some stuff that I need to talk about it. And I really believe it's very dangerous, especially at this time. But uh, the Bible says, if you're not a man, because they can only kill our body, but not our souls. So for that, I believe, no matter what action you guys may take, and no matter what YouTube you're gonna have to say about this clip, but uh, I just want the truth to be out, that's it. Uh, today, I am trying to talk about the LGBTQ. And our government, they say, is human rights. As of right now, uh, the government have paid some states to teach kids how to be a gay or whoever they want to be. And they call it human rights. But uh, some days ago, I was asking one question. I said, uh, if you were free to live anyhow we want, why won't we drive our cars in any speed? Why do we have police all over in all highways? Why do we have them over there? And why we be getting some tickets for speeding if we are in a free land? And one more question that I better ask right now. Is that better to respect our government rules and to disobey God rules? Because as I can see right now, this country, United States of America, they already put down all ten commandments that a God have given to us through the Bible. And then they live anyhow. I come today in front of this camera to warn all of you guys. I know the evil is using all of you. That's why nobody is going against those stuff. But we have judgment. We all gonna die. And you better be aware that die or passing away is not the end of life but it's the beginning of life we have an eternal life a human it is a spirit human is a spirit so human never die the body of human dies but our spirit our soul which is you we don't die so we have two last destiny hell or heaven and we all gonna be paid according to our action so Keep allowing what you guys keep doing, but I'm trying to tell you we all gonna end up at a bad situation. We we all gonna end up at a bad situation. So I got two stuff that I, I need to talk about right here. 
Uh, I need to talk about LGBTQ, which is lesbian and gay. And then I want to talk about a human to sleep with an animal, especially dogs. This is very ridiculous. So we be going against the God rules just to, to, to make ourselves to be happy. But I'm telling you today, there is judgment and God will punish you because of that mistake. God will punish you. Because in the very beginning, God created a man and a woman. And then he said, for that purpose, a female is going to have to leave his parents and, it will, and she will go and live with her husband. And a man will leave his parents and go live with, with his wife. But right now, men live with another man. Women will live with another woman. And then they do have sex. What a ridiculous stuff is that? That is very ridiculous. It's even, okay, let us forget about Bible. It's even against humanity. You call it human rights. How? So let me read in the Bible real quick. I'm already in Romans. Let me read in Romans uh, chapter 1. Verses 25 to 27. The Bible says, They exchanged the truth about God for a liar. They worship and serve what God has created and sensed of the Creator. 26. Because they do this, God has given them over to shameful passion. Even the women, even the women, part of the natural user of sex by a natural act. In the same way, the men give up a natural sexual relations with women and burn their passion for each other. Men do shameful things with each other and as a result, they bring up themselves the punishment they deserve for their wrongdoing. So the Bible says, because we did not want to respect what I asked us to do, so we start doing our will. You better remember that you were created by the image of God, says the Bible. In the uh, Genesis 1 26, the Bible says, And for that, God created a man in his own image. So you were created by the image of God. So you're supposed to do his will. You're supposed to do what he asked you to do. But right now, you'll be doing anyhow. Men to sleep with another man. That is nasty. Women to sleep with another woman. Why can't you guys get each other pregnancy? That's ridiculous. That's why you guys be having a lot of sicknesses. So it's against God's rules. And I swear to God, if you don't want to leave those rubbish behind, you will be judged. And you're going to end up to hell. I really believe this is very dangerous. I believe that. I saw some videos, some people get arrested because of this. But the truth must be told. This is ridiculous. And the government, they pay money for some schools. Like here in Louvo. They do pay money just to teach kids how to be lesbians. You are not even ashamed on that. Please, you better be you. You better be humans. You better have humanity. One day I was passing through Facebook, and then I saw on uh, Barack Obama was profile uh, account. Short run, I say we better have to treat them all right. 
they, they can be wherever they want to be. Why can't you marry another woman? Why do you still have Barack Obama as your husband? If you support, I mean, um, if you support the LGBTQ, if you support, why can't you go and marry another woman? I'm trying to tell you, the purpose of sin is death. The penalty of sin is a death. No matter how happy you will feel, but you, but you will end up to tea. You're going to end up to tear. You're going to cry. I'm telling you. Because we're all going to die. No matter who you are. And you better have the expectation. To live forever. I saw they already bring their own Bible. To try and express themselves. But. The Bible have never lied. We have this Bible. Has a direction. That's why. On dollars they have we, in God we trust so if you trust in God you better respect what he asks you to do if you just say we trust in God we better really respect what he asks us to do we have guns shot everywhere every time and they, you don't even take action on this so you better take all guns because I don't even know why everybody has gone. Why whoever wanted to, to, to have it, they can just go ahead and buy it. People be passing away all the time because of those ridiculous stuff. Why can't you think about it? Why can't you take action? The governor of Louvre, why can't you take action on, I mean, on this? You'll be supporting everything. I saw you last time. You were trying to say, oh, we better have to see how we're going to have to end all the, those situations. There was an officer, I think those was two officers. There was shot by a madman. So why can't two guys take all the guns away from people? Yeah, I can do it. I really believe you can do it. But they don't want to do it because it, it is your business. So today people are passing away anyhow. And then you say, and you still complaining about it. The only solution that you guys gonna have to take on a gun shoot, shoot problems, you will have to take all guns from everybody. Just leave the policemen with those guns, cause they 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 may have some problems, so they're gonna have to defend themselves. But uh, anyone else? Who is not even the police officer take that gun away because that's why we they be killing each other anyhow they want. We better think about it. I know they allow that back in the years over there. On the, 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 the second war, I believe, between England and the United States of America. So that was because we have to protect ourselves, but we don't have a war anymore. We don't have a war anymore. So why do we still have those guns? Why do we still have business that sells those stuff? We have death everywhere. We have young men pass away everywhere. We have drugs everywhere. But you don't take action on that because it's your business. So you don't want anybody to commit, to commit any kind of crime. After that, you will charge that person money. So it takes money to you, but on the other side, it takes people's life away. You better think about life. You better think about how people, they be struggling about those situations. We are not free, even though you guys call this land a free land. But we are not free because of those ridiculous stuff. Why can't you think? Even Mr. President, Mr. Mr. Biden, why can't you think about it? Why can't you think about it? Being, being governor does not mean that uh, you have to accept any kind of, of rubbish. Sometimes you better use your mind. God created you with intelligence. So you better have to use that. You better have to use that. Because we are struggling. People be struggling. I had my supervisor back in 2022 in the beginning. They killed her with gunshot. But why? Because you guys leave people freedom to have it. We 
better think in, I mean, uh, uh, on the other side. We better think about it. So, other situation that we have, we have dogs sleeping with people. That's nasty. That's so ridiculous. Dog to sleep with a, with a person. Dog to have sex with a person. You're not even shameful. You're not. Jesus. The, the Bible in uh, Leviticus 18.23. Let me read it right here. Levitic. Let me read, um, what is that, 18 and 23. The Bible says, No man or woman is to have sexual, sexual relationship, relation with an animal. That person makes you ritually and clear. No man or woman is allowed to have sexual relationships with the animal. But today, we're going to end up to hell. You are free to live anyhow you want. I believe your government allow you. Your government support you to be gay. Your government support you to sleep with dogs. Your government pay you money to be gay. No problem. Your government treats you well to be a gay, no problem. But the hell is waiting for you. Your government is not the one who's gonna judge you at the end of the time. The Lord God Jesus Christ is gonna be the one who's gonna have to give us our payment according to all our bad reactions. And I'm telling you, you're gonna remember this voice. You will cry. I do speak English as my second language, but I try all my best. Just to tell you that to stop being a gay because it's a sin. It's a sin to be a gay. It's a sin to sleep with, a, with your animal. It's a sin men to sleep with another man. It's a sin a woman to sleep with another woman. It's a sin a man or, you, uh, or woman to sleep with an animal. So, keep disobeying the word of God. But are you going to end up? In the problem you might be happy on this earth but I'm telling you you will cry in some time later you be drinking drugs and alcohol you don't even remember about your Creator God who created you for a very good reason but now you live by disobeying his world he's gonna punish you because of that so as long as you were created by image of God, you better have to learn how to obey his word. Learn how to obey his word because you are free to live in your And even though I'm sipping, even though I'm just speaking all this stuff, I'm not forcing you to live what the Bible asks you to live. But I'm telling you, there is your problem if you don't live according to God's word. May God help you to change and understand me. Amen. Amen.